everybody, I'm Jo and welcome back to another episode of The Organised You TV. We're in the laundry again today and I'm going to be showing you how I've organised our laundry cupboard. Uh, it's quite big but the shelves are quite narrow so I've had a bit of a hard time getting everything in that I've wanted to. What I've found is when you're organising a space such as this, you don't need to spend a lot of money on organising products. In fact, most of the things in here I've organised using shoe boxes. So let me show you exactly what I've done. So this is the right hand side of our laundry cupboard. It's got six shelves and I've really packed a lot in them. Uh, we'll start with the top shelf. Uh, up here we've got one of these IKEA cassette boxes which I love, I use all around the house. And that's got uh, all our party supplies. So if the kids are having a birthday, I can just grab the box and it's got everything there that I need. Next to that we've got our heat packs and gel packs, easy to grab. And these are the shoe boxes I was telling you about. These are actually um, kid sized shoe boxes, but they're perfect for organising things. If you don't have kids, you can use any sort of shoe box or any small box that you find just lying around the house. Uh, next to that we just have some old rags. And everything was labelled using the Dymo labeler, which is in the link below. So on the next shelf I have all our cleaning supplies, so that includes um, our microfiber cloths which I talked about in my cleaning post which is in the link below. Um, I keep all our cleaning supplies in this caddy so that I can easily carry it around when I'm going to each different room in the house. And the next tub is just cleaning supplies, so floor cleaner, um, bicarb and different sort of spot removers. The shelf below that contains all our medical supplies, so pills and tablets and medicine are in these two different containers. And I just got these all these baskets at um, the local dollar store, so they're probably about two dollars each. This top shelf I used um, old iPhone containers and just covered them with some paper, so they've got measuring things, um, house supplies, band-aids, creams and lotions, so it's all really easy to grab. The fourth shelf holds this great little unit that I got from Bunnings for about $15 and it organises all those little bits and pieces that you might have lying around in a junk drawer. So each drawer is just labelled and it's got things like batteries, blue tack, pins, paper clips, that sort of thing. And next to that is just this really large shoe box which is a great storage container for all the ingredients I need for my DIY cleaning supplies. So things like the washing powder and sprays that I talked about last week on the vlog. The shelf below that holds one of these great collapsible storage boxes and it holds all my gym clothes in it. So I can just grab that in the morning and I'll quickly get dressed and go. Plus our tea towels and then the bottom one is the vacuum cleaner. So it's nice and bright and colourful and everything's organised using really cheap storage supplies. And the cupboard to the left holds more shoe boxes, things like globes, candles, um, mop heads, vacuum parts and our iron. Beneath that we just install these hooks and just screw them straight in so they hold the mops and brooms. And attached to this door is just um, something that you use to hang up your iron. This actually doesn't fit our iron, so I've used it to hang our window cleaner, uh, some extension cords and just a bag for our rubbish bags. And so that's it. I hope you've got some tips for organising your cupboard. You don't need to use really expensive things to organise and store different things. You can just use shoe boxes or inexpensive baskets and it makes things really easy to find. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on the Organised UTV.